I think it's like it's one of those it's definitely intentional but at the same time it's it also feels like a collection of happy accidents as well it, you know it's a combination of the music that we find ourselves listening to but underlying it all I guess is just that um, that desire to really see relevant music kind of connect with young people and we're not getting any younger and still I in my head I think we're really young um, but then each year you know the people coming through um, Soul Survivor festivals and increasingly at Momentum as well I find actually it's it's a, it has to be a conscious effort to find um, those songs and styles and genres where we're still singing solid truths of who God is and that doesn't change like that will never change these are old truths but putting a you know, putting them in a fresh, new, palatable way for young people to really connect with God. I'm, I, I love seeing that marriage happen. And so I guess that's what we're thinking about all the time. Um, but equally, genre-wise, it doesn't mean that, you know, we see like, old hymns really connecting with some of our young people that perhaps starved of that, like, deep theology that perhaps we, we really need. We need to be singing some of those songs. We're reminding ourselves of, you know, songs like When I Survey or from Cornerstone, you know, rewritten of My Hope is Built on Nothing Less Than Jesus' Blood. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I really believe it can happen and I think I'm excited for more of those kind of, that marriage of yeah, culturally relevant sounds but also deep old truths that the church can hang on to. There's one name, one power that makes me come alive.